Here's how to make a Roblox game. This video will be going over the basics. This includes parts, properties, commands, and an introduction to scripting. Use our clickable sections below to keep track of what step you're on during this tutorial. To make a game, you'll need to have Roblox Studio installed first. If you don't have it, you can download it from roblox.com slash create. We've included this link in the description below. From there, open up Roblox Studio and choose a template to start building on. For this example, choose Baseplate. To begin placing things in the world, go up to the Model or World menu and click Parts. Parts are the basic building blocks for creating models and geometry within Roblox games. You can choose between blocks, spheres, wedges, and cylinders. For this example, you're going to be building a basic obby. So choose a block to make your starting platform. By using the scale tool, you can change the size of your part. Hold Ctrl or Command while you scale your part. It'll evenly grow or shrink in both directions. You can also use the Rotate tool to change the pitch, yaw, and roll of your part. There's also the Move tool, which allows you to move parts via the X, Y, and Z axes. You can also change the color with the Properties panel. Change the transparency and the reflectiveness of your parts here. The Properties panel also allows you to set whether or not a part is anchored. If a part isn't anchored, it'll be affected by gravity and fall down instead of staying where you placed it in your game. Here, you can also set the part's Can Collide Boolean. If this is turned off, players can walk right through it. If it's turned on, players will collide with the part. To change the name of the part, go up to the Name section in Properties and change it to whatever you want. If you want to place an object in your game that someone has already made, you can go over to the toolbox and search for anything you might want to use. Anything you place into the game can be found in the Explorer under the Workspace tab. If you want to remove something from your workspace, click on it and press Delete or Backspace. To have your parts face into each other, turn off collisions from the Model menu. Otherwise, parts you place in the world will collide with each other. To set where players will spawn in your game, you can place spawn points from the model menu. If you want to hide your spawn points, you can set their transparency to 1 and then delete the decal on them. You can also set the can collide to false to make sure players can walk through your spawn points. In order to duplicate an object you've placed in the world, click on it and press Ctrl or Command plus D. For this example, you can create a couple of spawn points on your beginning platform. Some other commands you may want to be familiar with are Control or Command Z. This will undo any actions you performed on your map. Control or Command Y. This will redo any actions you've undone. Control or Command R. This will rotate the object or objects you currently have selected. F. This will focus the camera on whatever object you currently have selected. To organize your game, you can group objects together. To do this, Control or Command click all the objects you want to group, and then press Control or Command plus G. You can also shift click in the workspace if you want to group together a bunch of objects. Another staple of obbies are lava bricks, which kill the player when they're touched. In order to make one of these, you'll need to get into scripting. Scripting is what allows creators to add unique functionality to parts and models. 
To add a script to a model or part, hover over them in the workspace and click the plus icon. Then click Script, and it'll add a basic Hello World script to the object. Roblox utilizes the Lua programming language for all of its scripting. Here's a basic script that'll kill the player if they touch the block. Functions are reusable groups of code that can perform actions. In this case, the function is triggered whenever the player touches the block. The parent refers to the block itself or the owner of this script. The humanoid here is checking to make sure that whatever touched the block is a humanoid character. If it is, it'll execute the rest of the code. Now that you have all of the basics out of the way, it's time to start really assembling your game. Since you're creating an obby, you can make a basic platforming section. And add lava bricks here at the end. Then create a landing platform for the player to act as the finishing point. To test your level, go to the test or home menu and click play. This will spawn you in from the spawn points you set earlier. If you want to spawn from a specific spot, you can click the drop down below play and click play from here. When you're satisfied with your game, you can choose to publish it so that others can play it. To do that, click on the publish button. That'll bring up a new menu. Click on create new game. From there, give your game a name, description, set the genre, and what devices your game is playable on. To set who can play your game, go up to the game settings in the home menu, click permissions, and then set your game to friends, public, or private. Now, your game is ready to play.